Hi, in this video we are going to learn about functions and return values. So functions take in parameters and can give back results called return values. So let's revisit the function we wrote called double number. So here I declare a variable called x which I set equal to 5 and then I call double number passing in x as the parameter. So this function doubles the number and prints it out. But what if we wanted to keep that result? What if when we doubled x we wanted to you know, keep that value here with us. So let's look at our, uh, this diagram we use as an analogy for functions. So double number, it's like this machine, and something can go into the machine, and those are the parameters, and something can come out of the machine. Those are our return values, those are our results. So the parameters go in, 5 goes in, and when we double it, 10 comes out. That's the return value. So let's define double number now, but write it as a function that uses a return value. So we write function double number and we have a parameter called x. And then I can declare a variable called doubled x, which is 2 times x. And then I return doubled x. So this is a return statement. Return says take whatever this value is and send it back. Give it back to whoever called this function. So let's look at calling a function with a return value. So here I say var num is equal to 5, and then, you know, that's a box, that's a variable, it's a box with the value 5 inside, and then I say doubled is equal to double number passing a num as a parameter. So what's happening is 5 goes into the machine, goes into the function, and out comes the return value, comes 10, which is 5 doubled. So let's go into our code editor and write this up. So we're writing a function called double number, takes parameter x. So now we'll declare a variable called doubled x equals 2 times x. And then we'll return doubled x. So now let's try calling this function. Okay, I'll say var apples, or num apples equals 4. Now I say there twice as many equals double number of num apples. And then I print line before I had num apples and then print line after I had twice as many. Let's see what happens. So before I had four and after I had eight. Let's try calling it a different way. If I say their result equals double number of 10, and I print line result, we'll see that I'll get 20. 10 went in, 10 became x. Then down here, uh, we figured out doubled x, that's 2 times x, that's 20. And when we said return doubled x, that value basically gets substituted in here. That basically puts a 20 there, the result of that function. Let's try calling it one more time. So if I say var uh, y equals 11, and then I say print line double number of y, what's going to happen here is I'm going to get 22 printed out. So when I call double number of y, we, you know, 11 gets passed as a value. We compute that result. 22 gets returned and then it gets substituted in here and printed out. 